Hey Jordan, how's your run? All good. Little five to ten k to start the morning. Just getting back into camp now. I took a week off, so uh, yeah, just trying to find find my feet once again. Do you run every day? Most days. Um, when when I'm out of season, out of camp, four four times a week. When I'm in camp, it's free. It's three hard, three hard runs a week. So do you wake depends. up early every day? Early morning, start at 5 a.m. Every do you, morning. Do you like to wake up early? I don't like to wake up early, but I've got so much going on. If I don't wake up early, nothing gets done. So uh, now I'm a hustler. I've uh, got a lot going on. I'm, I like to be busy. So uh, yeah, look, you've got, you've got to um, be up you know, early rise. So, uh, yeah. What is your longest run? Longest run, do you know what? We, everything's depending on on uh, how far. My longest run depends on how you know how many how many rounds I'm boxing. It's all specific to the rounds I'm boxing. So at the moment, I'm boxing six to eight rounds. So it'd be like the most longest distance will be 42 minutes, 36 minutes, but it'd be hard, sharp, and intense. So what's the plan for today? Plan today, like I said, it's just our rest day. Really active, getting back into the swing of things. Nice little early run. Have some breakfast, got a podcast, probably get a little shape up, a little freshen up. Then down south London to the iBox gym, bit of pads, maybe a few rounds of sparring. And uh, yeah, just ticking over. Like, I'll find out tomorrow if I've got a fight date for Christmas. But uh, yeah, I, I know in the, in the new year is a very big, big year. Minimum of five to six fights next year. So got a great team backing me, Darren Barker and Joe Kawasaki. So I'm looking forward to, you know, see what's next. Yeah. Shall, shall we go for coffee? Just have a coffee, mate. <laughs> Enjoy your food, man. Mm. Good? I'm real, mate. I'm starting to, um, start to eat back a bit healthier now. Last week, obviously I fought two weeks ago, so I've been eating like you know, cakes and that for breakfast. Okay. So I'm back, what, what I'm back you, on the eggs. What do you eat, usually eat for breakfast? Porridge, uh, uh, protein porridge, eggs, the, the usual kind of stuff. This is just a bit of eggs, a bit of bacon, um, nothing too clean, a bit of balance um, until we get Friday. How do you treat yourself off boxing? Hmm. I look after myself, you know, health's wealth. Even when you have rest days, do yeah. you uh, eat the same? Yeah, I do, I do well, look. it's more important the rest days, um, even with the ice baths and meditation and that kind of stuff, I think uh, longevity is key, you know. You've got to look after your body. This sport we're in, it's a lot of toll on the body as well, so... Yeah, man. You've got to look after yourself, man. How do you plan your weekly schedule? Well, normally my trainers do it, so... But we'll kind of go with how I feel these days. Um, less, is, less is more. Less is more, not about overtraining, just getting the right, it's all about balance, you know? So where are we heading next? Off to my barber shop, Lane Barbers, get a little shape up, a little, little freshen up, doing a podcast with all good friends, and then um, we're off to sunny South London, down Bromley. Well, I've got my head round Mayweather versus um, McGregor. Yeah. I've got my head round that, do you know what I mean? Like, cross yeah, combat. Nice. But when it starts, that's, I think that started it off the whole era, you know what I mean? The whole thing, isn't it? The whole, yeah, cool. they're thinking, well, if they can cross over, yeah. why aren't we doing that? Like... The pressure now, though. Did Mayweather in that fight after, like, KSI? They must, they fought before, didn't they? Well, no, they fought, they fought last night, didn't they? Yeah, he fought that Deji, didn't he? Yeah, fucking yeah. He just, it, mate, it looks ridiculous. Well, Yo, my name's Mutz, if you don't know. Big up Jordan Reynolds every time. Listen, it's Mutz Unedited, that's my podcast. If you don't know, go check it out. If you haven't seen Jordan on there before, you definitely see him on there, yeah, listen. Um, if you don't know, I know Jordan from Luton Town, Luton Town's own, you get me, representative, Luton lad, born and raised. Um, listen, man, support your own. That's all I gotta say, you get me? So lock in and subscribe, all them things, comment, follow, like, all of that, you get me? Yeah,
What's going on everyone? People them, what's unedited? We're back in the building. Blaine's Barbershop, you know where we're at. Listen, I ain't even gonna cut all the intro and all them things there, because today's a special one. We told you last time, innit? We told you my guy Jordan Reynolds is gonna go and uh, put on for the town, represent as he does, you know what I'm saying? And guess what people them, if you don't know, he bought the double, you back to Luton Town. I think we deserve a couple <laughs> cracks for that one day, you get me? Big up, big up Jordan for that. Some people make, make a fortune, fortune. Others make them a mint My old man don't know much In fact, fact he's flipping skin Skint. Oh, my old man's a dustman He wears a dustman's hat He wears gold boy trousers And he lives in a council flat yes. He looks a proper nana In his great big dog tail boots He's got such a job to pull them up, they curves and daisy roots. <laughs> some folks give tips at Christmas, and some of them forget. Classic. So when he picks them, Who is your all-time favourite boxer? My all-time favourite boxer? I don't know. I like a bit of Johnny Tapia, Sugar Ray Robinson. I do like the throwback fires. They fight with a lot of emotion. When you watch them, you can, you can, you can tell, you can tell by someone their upbringing and how they how they fight is a lot of uh, they fight with the heart so uh, Sugar Robinson Sugar Leonard Johnny Tapia he's some man so yeah and what about uh, modern boxers modern boxer yeah um, give me three favorite yeah, Jake ones. Paul Tommy Fury and KSI that's a good choice man <laughs> nah, uh, nah, modern modern day boxers yeah top three it's got to be Canelo, Usyk, and Fury, to be fair. Wow, that's interesting. And, uh, and you personally, who uh, would you like to fight? Anyone, really. Like, no, like, there's no one individually who I'd think, oh, I don't like it. Like, it's a business, I get on with everyone, but I want to be fighting for titles ASAP, so anyone who's in my way to get into where I need to get to really yeah but is there any boxer who would uh, who would uh, you would be interested to fight like as, I would like, like to a fight to challenge yourself yeah um, no I think I'll, I'll be honest with you I just uh, I take each fight at a time step by step there's no point me saying you know I want to fight Canelo or someone like that it's just this unrealistic I'm not ready for it I still get the rounds in um, and and uh, keep learning and, and condition myself to the rounds. So, but yeah, fight by fight, just get these domestic tolls first, and then we start working towards world level. How do you overcome your setbacks? How do I overcome my setbacks? Yes. <sighs> oh, so do you know what? I've had so many setbacks from the from the start of my career. It's been drama. Um, I think it's just built resilient. I think it's where I come from. Obviously, a lot of people know that I come from the manor. All of us on the estate, nine times out of ten, we all come from broken homes. So we've all got to be, you know, resilient in you to push forward. But I think it's just wanting something so much and knowing I can make it, I can, I can get to this goal, drives me, just drives me forward. And uh, yeah, I just take no for an answer. And if someone says I can't do it or oh, it's not going to happen, I just feel like I need to prove them wrong so yeah look it's uh, been drama off drama setback off setback but it's built character resilient and uh, what can I say eh? just uh, we push forward we move on all right what would you suggest to people who has some setbacks in life you know uh, some fails uh, just, how what, they yeah. should deal with this I would say anyone you know suffering with setbacks or you know, people, you know, family, friends, or whatnot, telling them they can't make it or do anything. I'm not the most talented kid in anything. I just work hard. I turn up every day. I put the work in. I graft, and I get there. It might take me a little bit longer than others, but I find it is. And same, same as you. Like you're probably more talented, but just, just give it a go. Push forward. Like 
working, you can always go back to work. Work's always there. Working on five is always there. Just sacrifice everything, risk everything, and just go for it. We only live once, and uh, I think just don't live without any, don't live with any regrets. I see. I, I say anyway. What is your goal as a boxer? My goal as a boxer is just to, to see how far I can actually go. See how far I can actually go. Oh, well, my dream is oh, I love to get that British title. But my goal as a boxer is to be able to fight abroad, Vegas or something like that and just bring five to ten thousand Brits or Lutonians over and take over another country. That would be led. That's, uh, yeah, that's what it's about for me. If not boxing, what would it be? If not boxing, what would it be? Yes. I'm not too sure to be honest, but I always... It'd be something out there, do you know what I mean? It'd be a... Uh, I'm quite independent, I can't really work for anyone else, so it'd be like a, it'd be like a business or it'd be, what would it be? It'd be, it'd be something where I'm very, I'm not self, I would say I'm quite selfish, I'm very a lone soldier, I like to do things on my own and just push forward, so it'd be, it'd be something in that field, but I'd be a, I mean, a bit definitely. Well, I'm a business. I'm a few business owners now. I'm a business owner now, so small businesses probably be better businesses to be fair. Because I put all my time and effort to boxing. Uh, but yeah, I'll be a entrepreneur. Is there anything important uh, coming in your life? Not really, but I'll just try and say, say to people wherever you are, to put the work in. Just about to head off to uh, my next session, and uh, yeah, for always work. Stay hard. Plans for next year, mate. My plans for next year. Yes. So, obviously got the academy running. We'll be looking to start the year off from January. Jordan Runners Boxing Academy into five to ten schools starting the year. In the deprived areas. Branching out with Nationwide. Get up and Coffee Co. Get up and go Coffee Co. In full motion. Exhaling. Doing well. Five, at least five to six fights next year. Either a domestic area or title fight at the end of the year, or the start of the year after. Well, I'm married, I'm getting married on the 20th of April in Mexico, so maybe do a little bit of travelling after that. Find a place maybe where to settle down in the future. What well, not, even though I've got a, an idea where I want to be in Mexico. Um, and get this other business I've got up and popping events. Just, mate, just keep fucking growing. Just become the best version of myself. That's all we can do, eh? We keep inspiring people, fucking bring the people with me. So we're here at the iBox Gym. Val Smith, Eddie Lamb, Paul Taylor, Ian Weaver. This is where it all happens. We get to work, sparring day, a bit of pads. I just may have a fight on the 17th, so fucking back to work. I'm Ian Weaver, um, professional boxing coach. Boxed on the am um, amateur scene for about 15 years. Member of the Team GB Amateur Boxing Club. Um, oh, Team GB for five years. I've um, known Jordan. I've known him around the boxing scene for a few years. Um, he was boxing for England when I was boxing for England. Um, but since I've been in the gym and owning for about a year now, I'm working with him for about a year. What would you like to see Jordan achieve in New Year? Um, get a contract, professional contract up, yeah, a promotional contract, and um, maybe fight for like an English title or a, a southern area or some sort of title early next year would be good for Jordan, I think.
So oh, it was a long day. Long day. This is the thing that people don't see, mate. Fucking hell, we're in traffic. Normally it takes me about an hour and a half, hour and forty on a good day. Probably take me about two and a half hours now. That's crazy, man. Are you knackered? Cool, we're done, mate. Yeah, this is part of it, mate. Do you know what I mean? A rather, um, cause you got you got to uh, sacrifice, you know. You got to sacrifice your time. If it, uh, if it was easy, everyone would do, eh? Yeah. So when is your next fight? So we're looking at the 17th of December. It will be in Bournemouth, Sky Sports, but not confirmed yet. It's just out there, so I should know where I'm at more by the end of the week. We can start playing. I'm trying to just get myself back in camp, back into routine. Start eating well, no more cappuccinos and cookies and bacon and bloody toast and you name it, mate. So uh, yeah, back on the clean living. All right. So thank you very much. It was nice to hang out with you, mate. Thanks Till next time. Me.